Are you dreaming of leaving your everyday job to be your own boss? Today, we'll introduce you to seven amazing product ideas that can potentially bring an income 10 times greater than a regular job. These proven strategies have already transformed many into high net worth individuals. So are you ready to learn and kickstart an exciting entrepreneurial journey? Let's jump right in. First up, we have custom pet collars. These are super popular in the pet world. We all treat our pets like family, right? So naturally, pet owners love getting unique stuff for their furry buddies, and that's where custom collars come in. You could create all sorts of collars. These are the high-tech ones with GPS tracking or fitness features, and even some with LED lights for safe night walks. Or how about going green with sustainable materials like bamboo or recycled plastics? And then there's the fun part, themed designs. Collars decked out for Halloween or inspired by the latest blockbuster movie. But here, the key is personalization. Engraving a pet's name and owner's contact details on the collar is not only practical, but also adds a personal touch. Plus, with AI tools, you can whip up some really cool patterns or art to print on these collars. And why stop there? Add some flair with trendy attachments like bow ties or charming pendants. Now, spreading the word is crucial, and social media is your powerhouse for this. Use Instagram and Pinterest to show off these amazing collars. Get your customers involved too. Encourage them to post pics of their pets rocking your collars. It's a great way to build engagement. Partnering with pet influencers can also give your visibility a big boost. Let's talk about another fun business idea. Turn pictures of pets into fancy Renaissance style portraits. The concept is simple yet brilliant. Customers send in photos of their pets and what they get back is a photoshopped masterpiece. Their pet's face expertly blended onto a royal looking body complete with period attire. Now, if we discuss the potential here, there are real success stories in this market. Take for instance an Etsy shop named Van Wolf. They're focusing solely on this style of art and are pulling in about $244,000 per year. That's impressive and they're not alone. Another shop, Tiny Fluffy, operates in the same niche and also enjoys considerable success. Now, you might be thinking, sure, that sounds great, but creating these images must be tough. Yes and no. It's true that there's a bit of a learning curve, but there are easier ways to get started. One method is outsourcing the design work to professionals on platforms like Fiverr. This way, you can dip your toes into the business without immediately diving into complex Photoshop techniques. Alternatively, AI technology can be a game changer here. You can use AI tools to generate initial designs. I've tried this myself with an AI program called Mid Journey, creating pet portraits in military uniforms. The results were surprisingly good, though not without challenges. AI doesn't always give consistent results, especially when it comes to matching uniforms and backgrounds, and it can't use customer photos directly for the pet's face. So what's the workaround? You could use AI to create the body of the portrait and then manually edit the pet's face from your customer's photo. A watercolor filter can help blend everything together seamlessly, a technique many successful shops use. Starting your own business in digital graphics and clip art can be a blast. You kick things off with AI tools to create your initial designs. But the real excitement comes in when you add your personal touch. When you're ready to sell your awesome designs, places like Etsy and Creative Market are perfect. You can set up your own shop online and fill it with all the cool clip art you've made. It's like having your own digital art shop that everyone can visit. Don't forget about social media too. Instagram and Pinterest are great for showing off your graphics. It's a good way to get people interested in what you're doing. As more people start liking your stuff, you can think about making special sets or themes which can be really popular. The best part? You can make money over and over from just one design. Once you put a design up for sale, people can keep buying it and you don't have to do anything more with it. It's a neat way to keep making money while you keep creating new stuff. All right, let's break down another cool business idea. Sell guides on how to use AI tools like Midjourney and ChatGPT. It's like making instruction books that help people talk to AI and get what they need from it. These guides give tips on how to ask AI to do specific things, like helping writers make up characters or helping artists design in certain styles. What's really neat is that people are already making good money doing this. Some folks are even making around $100,000 a year just by selling their special AI prompts on websites like Fiverr. So if you want to get into this business, you think about what kind of guides you want to make. Are you into art? writing, something else, you make guides that fit what people in these areas need, and then you find where these people hang out online, like social media or forums, and tell them about your guides. 
The cool part is, once you make a guide, you can keep selling it and maybe even make more things like online courses or personal training sessions. This business can grow with you, and you might even work with AI companies and make more money. Selling candles with funny sayings on them is not just a fun idea, but also a proven way to make good money. Let's take a look at how some folks have turned this idea into successful businesses. First up, there's Wax and Wick. They started out making soy candles with wood wicks and grew their business quickly. In just a couple of years, they went from making $1,000 a month to about $20,000 a month. They focused on environmentally friendly products and kept adding new scents and sizes. Then there's Cocoa and Bubbles, started by Elise. She bought an existing candle business for just $3,000 and turned it around to earn $14,000 a month. She found success by focusing on wholesale orders and working directly with manufacturers to keep costs down. Another great example is Black Lux Candle Co. Created by Brittany. What started as a hobby of making candles for her family turned into a business earning $20,000 a month. Her focus on creating a luxury experience with her candles paid off big time. Starting your own tumbler wrap business is pretty cool and can make some good money. It's all about making cool looking wraps for drink tumblers. You can go wild with the designs, from fancy patterns to characters from popular TV shows. The best part, you get to be creative and keep up with the latest trends. Now the big thing to nail in this business is knowing what your customers want. Think about what they're into, their hobbies, what they do for fun. That's what you want your tumbler designs to reflect. Like if you're aiming to sell to families, maybe make tumblers that are kid friendly. Quality is super important. You want your tumblers to not only look great, but last long too. Play around with different stuff like shiny glitter or cool textures to make your tumblers really pop. Having an online shop is key. You can sell your tumblers on your own website or use places like Shopify and Etsy. And don't forget about Instagram and TikTok. They're perfect for showing off your designs. Make sure your photos and descriptions are top notch to grab people's attention. Money-wise, it's important to keep track of what it costs to make your tumblers and always have a little extra cash set aside for any unexpected stuff that comes up. You gotta price your tumblers right, not too cheap, but still a good deal. Check out what others are charging to get an idea. Marketing is super important. Get the word out on social media, show up at local events, and maybe even do some email marketing. Letting customers customize their tumblers can also be a big hit, especially for gifts or special events. Selling fabric prints is a business where you create and sell your own fabric designs. You can make any pattern you like, such as pretty flowers, cool shapes, or fun pictures for kids. The great thing about this business is you only print the fabric when someone orders it. This means you don't need to keep lots of fabric around, saving you space and money. To sell your fabric prints, you can use websites like Etsy or your own online shop. Social media is really helpful too. Use Instagram and Pinterest to show off your fabrics. Post photos of what people can make with your fabric, like dresses, quilts, or home decor. You can also make custom fabrics for customers who want something special, like a certain color or a theme. This is great for people who want unique fabric for their projects or as gifts. Making fabric for different times of the year, like Christmas or Halloween, can be popular. People look for special fabrics for holiday crafts or to decorate their homes. Stay up to date with what people like and want in fabric designs. Talking to your customers and getting their opinions can help you decide what kinds of fabric to make next. So there you have it. Which of these ideas sparked your interest the most? Tell us in the comments below. And if you found this helpful or inspiring, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing content.